Now let us consider these two questions. The first question is the following circuit implements a two and gate using a two cross two ratio one multiplexer. That means uh, we are implementing a two input and gate. They are saying we are implementing a two input and gate. So if uh, this is the and gate, this is the input A, this is the input B, then and gate gives A dot B. So here the output should be A dot B. Okay. Now they are asking what is the values of x one, x two, x three. Uh, if you want to implement this to input and gate, so here this one is representing one and it is representing zero. That means it is representing x one and it is representing x one complement. So if let us suppose uh, this multiplexer is giving a function f, so this function f can be represented by uh, a x one plus b x one complement. Plus b x one complement. Here we have x two. Therefore, if uh, we check this output, then this output is representing f dot x three plus x two dot x three complement. Take put the values of f, so it can be written as a x one plus b x one complement dot x three plus x two dot x three complement. Right. But we wanted to have A dot B, but we cannot get A dot B from this complete equation. So how can we get A dot B? If we put, if we put, assuming, let us suppose, if we put x1 is equal to B, if you put x1 is equal to B, so see from this you can clearly see we can we cannot get A A dot B, right? So uh, we have to make either this equation as A dot B. Either this equation is a dot b, or we can make this equation is a dot b, right? Or we can get a from here, and uh, we can make x3 as b. Then we can make it as a dot b. But let us take some values. If we take x1 as b, if we take x1 as b, then this equation will be a dot b plus b dot b complement dot x3 plus x2 dot x3 complement, right? So this can be this is zero. So this can be written as a b. Dot x3 plus x2 dot x3 complement. Now, if we take, let us suppose x3 as one. If we take x3 as one, then this can be written as a b dot one plus x2 dot one complement, which is equal to a b plus x2 dot zero, which is equal to a b itself, which is representing a b. That means if we take x1 as b. X3 as one, and we take any value of X2, then we can get A dot B complement, right? So that means if we take X1 as B, if we take X3 as A, if we take X3 as A, what is X3? X3, X3. We are taking X3 as here one. If we take X3 as one, right? So if we obviously option number A is not matching. Second option is saying if we have X1 as B, X2 as one, and X3 as B. So x1 as b, yes, and x3 as b, but we are taking x3 as one. x3 as one only in this case we have x3 as one, but this option is not matching. Obviously, therefore the options which we assumed is not matching. So let us do one thing. There's one more method of solving this. If you can get this particular equation, see, always it is not guaranteed that if you express uh, use uh, the options given by you. Then they are exactly matching. In some cases, they are exactly matching with the answers. In some cases, it may happen that the options which you imagine, if you which you have taken, they are not matching from this solution. Then in that case, what you can do is take this expression and try to put these values one by one. For example, in the first option, option number A, uh, if we apply option number A on this, that means we, uh, this equation is A x1 plus B x1 complement dot x3. Plus x2 dot x3 complement, right? So the first option is saying if you take x1 as b, that means if you take x1 as b, x2 as zero and x3 as a. If you put all these three values, the equation we which we are going to get is a dot b plus b dot b complement dot x3 as a a plus x2 as zero zero dot a complement. So it can also be written as a b dot a Plus zero, which is equal to a b itself, right? So if we check, op, if we put this option number, all these values to in, into this equation, then we are getting a b. Therefore, option number a must be correct, right? Now you can either check a b b c and d because if you are sure that option you have done option number a correctly, then you don't need to check other options. 
because it is uh, the answer is correct the correct answer is one for this question now if you take option number b and if you take the same equation the same equation put x1 as b x2 as 1 and x3 as b x1 as b if you put x1 as b then it can be written as a b plus b dot b complement you took x3 as b dot b plus put x2 as 1 so 1 dot b complement which can be written as a b dot uh, b plus 1 dot b complement which is a b plus b complement which is not representing a dot b right so option number b is obviously wrong in the same way you can check option number c and option number d and you can see option number c and option number d both are wrong only option number a is matching in this question right so uh, either you can get this equation you can take the values by yourself or you can substitute these value into this equation and then you can get the answer now if you see the next question it is saying the boolean expression for the output f of the multiplexer is shown below right that means this these are the options which you are saying that they are asking what this function f is representing uh, for this given multiplexer okay so we have p and q so this is s0 and s1 the values of s0 and s1 can be 0 0 they can be 0 1 they can be 1 0 and they can be 1 1 0 0 means we are selecting r 0 1 0 means uh, 1 0 means it is representing 1 it is representing 2 it is a sorry it is representing 0 it is representing 1 it is representing 2 and it is representing 3 so if we have 0 then this one will be selected if we have 1 then this one will be selected if we have 2 then this one will be selected if we have 3 then this one will be selected therefore the equations for this question can can also be written like this uh, it is representing p complement q complement r that is p complement q complement r why because it is representing 0 0 okay so 0 0 means it is binary 0 plus second is 1 1 means uh, s not s1 complement or you can say q p complement if you have q p complement then we are selecting r complement plus plus if we do 0 1 that means it is 2 so s not complement and s1 that means q not complement p if we have p q not complement then we can select r complement plus if we have both as one so p q r plus p q r now in this equation we have p q complement we have p complement q complement r plus p complement q r complement plus p q complement r complement plus p q r now there are two methods of solving this either you can make this in xor form how can you make it in xor form if you take r complement as common between these two if you take r complement as common between these two and you take r as common this between these two then this will be p x nor q r and this will be uh, p uh, x or r q so how can you do it so let us assume we are taking r as common between these two so therefore it can be written as r dot p complement q complement plus p q plus if you take r complement as common so it can be written as p complement q plus p q complement so it can be written as r p x nor q plus r complement p x or q so this x nor is actually complement of x or therefore it can be written as r p x or q whole complement plus r complement p x or q and this complete it itself is representing an x or so it can be written as r x or p xor q which is p xor q xor r right so you can get so option number b is correct answer for this question right this question is very simple and very easy okay